Surprisingly, the way most people naturally try to teach their dog his name is actually the way that behavior scientists use to teach animals to ignore a stimulus. It's called learned irrelevance. By repeatedly exposing an animal to a stimulus, like calling their name, and not connecting it to a reinforcer like a treat, you're actually teaching that animal to ignore the stimulus. It's not important information. Do give your dogs nicknames so that you can talk about them with family and friends because they're so darn cute and what else would you talk about, but you're not weakening the response while you're doing so. For example, I could talk about how cute Wee Wee is and she's the cutest Wee Wee in the whole world, but if I said her name, Kyushi, she, I don't know if you saw her little tail starts moving and her little eyes open up. So I'm not trying to, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, interrupting your sleep. So you don't want to be um, using your dog's name all the time because they're responding. And if you do that repeatedly, you're going to weaken their response. Over here we have Miss Tuna. She doesn't respond to the word tuna, but if I say tinta, she does respond. Oh, you're such a good girl. Okay, all done. Right here is Miss Teeny Weeny. Don't want to say Rosie because then she'll respond to her name. Good girl, baby girl, good girl. That's our big boy over there. And Shadow's the only one that we call by his name because he's an old man and he can't hear me anyway. So you're not weakening the response. Do use nicknames instead of your dog's name when you just want to love on them and you can't help but say their name. Are you my wee-wee? Are you my wee-wee? You're so good. You're such a good wee-wee. Do practice calling your dog, not just when you need them. Kyushi. <laughs> He's such a good girl. He's so good. Your dog should think it's a privilege to be called. They should be hoping against hope that you'll call their names. Zuko. <laughs> He's such a good boy, buddy. Good job. Okay, go ahead. Do call your dogs to come back inside, but then let them right back out again. Hey, let's go, guys. Good puppies. Good job. Come on in. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and go, 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 go. Good girls. Okay, let's go. Go puppies, woohoo, good job. Good job, let's go. Go have fun. Good job, you're so smart. Don't call your dog's name over and over and over when he's not doing what you want. Instead, retrain the behavior, set up practice situations and work up to the level of proficiency that you want. Fluffy, 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 fluffy. Zuko, yay, good boy. So all those times you repeat your dog's name over and over without connecting it to the behavior you want or with a treat, you're actually weakening their response to their name. But wait, does that mean that every time I call my dog's name, I have to give them a treat? Only at first. Once your dog has a solid understanding of their name, meaning the brain considers it important information and they know what to do when they hear it, then we can use the science of schedules of reinforcement to teach our dogs to respond even if we don't give them a treat every time. Starting small, first, see if your dog can still respond if you only give them a treat on average every one and two repetitions. Be careful not to become too predictable though. Your dogs will quickly learn the pattern, so mix it up. Remember, it's just an average of every one and two times, but you could do three times in a row and then skip two, or you could do one, he one you do treat, the other one you don't, and then you treat the next two, all right? so just. Keep your dog guessing. Then increase the difficulty and work up to being able to re reinforce your dog only like one in three on average, and then one in four, and then one in five, and so on. You can push this as far as you wanna go. The only thing you can't do is push it so fast that your dog doesn't wanna play the game anymore. It's always okay to take a step back, make it easier for your dog so that they still have fun and still want to respond to their name. If you move slowly enough and move at the pace of your dog, you will get to where you're going.